Hi everyone. My name is Sofia Huerta. I'm a professional soccer player in the National Women's Soccer League. I currently play for the LL Reign, but have formerly played for both the Mexican and the US Women's National Team. I'm a Mexican American. I was born and raised in Boise, Idaho. My dad was born in Mexico. My mom was born in the US and they decided they were gonna raise their family in America. Growing up, I never felt discriminated against for my race. I definitely experienced racial slurs and jokes, and at the time I didn't think much of it, but of course now I know it's never okay or appropriate to make jokes about someone's race or where they're from. More recently, I've experienced negative comments on social. For example, when I was switching from the Mexican national team to the US, people were saying that I shouldn't be able to play for the US because I'm Mexican, and that my family and I should just go back to Mexico where we belong. I've always been able to disassociate from comments and jokes like this because I never felt like being Mexican held me back. The comments and jokes like this, although they made me uncomfortable, they saddened and triggered my dad because unfortunately he had a much different experience being Mexican in America. I don't think it helped that we lived in Boise, Idaho, you know, a state known for its low diversity and conservatism. But because of this, my dad experienced discrimination because of his race and because of where he's from and his accent. I mean, he has a really thick accent. I think he faced discrimination socially, but I think it impacted him more career-wise. He's been passed over for promotions. I think he felt like it was really hard for his ideas to be respected. There were many times where his intelligence was questioned because of the way that he talked and because he had such a thick accent. He really felt like he had to work that much harder just to have the same opportunities as everyone else. It was really sad to have this conversation with my dad because he still feels like he's not treated equally and he felt like living in the States as a minority was exhausting and at times he felt really invisible. This is not fair. You know, my dad just wanted to provide a better life for his family and his kids and because of that, he suffered. My dad explained to me that his lack of economic opportunity did affect me and my family. I was like, dad, that's, that's not true, but he gave me examples and it is true. I, my family and I were affected. I think with our current administration right now, from the outset have always targeted Mexicans and Mexican Americans. And even though it should be getting better, it's not. This just magnifies my dad's pain. I think as Americans, we need to better understand what it's like to be a minority in this country. And we do that by listening to people's stories. I believe empathy has to be fostered through education and communication. We need to listen to people's stories like my dad's about racial inequity. When we hear stories, I think we become more compassionate and understanding. I think as a country, we're stronger when we love and we're weaker when we hate and disrespect. When one of us hurts, we all hurt. I think we all know that. And so we just need to have more love and to move forward together as a country. More importantly, we need to vote. We have to use our voices to demand political, legal, and social change in issues like the double standard in the workplace, our justice system, and throughout the fabric of our culture, it needs to get better. I think the role that we play in educating the youth is really important, especially because we live in a world where there's negative influence everywhere. I think right now, especially right now, we have to use our platforms to educate and to keep the momentum going surrounding this issue of racial inequity. We aren't just role models in the arena of athletics anymore. We can and we should influence in other parts of society. This has been demonstrated right now in the NWSL. I mean, a lot of us are kneeling for the national anthem to raise awareness. I think on social, we have to post informative stuff. We need to keep the conversation going. I think we need to highlight foundations that help tackle this issue that has been happening for a long time. Recently, I started a fundraiser to raise money for the Loveland Foundation and I was so enthusiastic about the response. I've been so encouraged by the reaction to what I post and what other people have been posting, but I know there's so much more we can do. And I know I need to find ways to keep playing my part. And I'm so thankful for Voice Now and them allowing me to tell my dad's story and using my voice. I especially wanna thank my dad, Mauricio. I know it was really hard, dad, to have this conversation with me, but I'm so thankful you let me be your voice because I know for a long time you felt like you didn't have one and this needs to change. I don't want anyone to suffer like my dad did just because he wanted to provide a better life for his family. Thank you guys for listening. You know, we need more love. I think everyone knows that. So let's keep having this conversation and make lasting and forever change. Thanks guys.